Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. Now, this is the first time that one of these breweries have been on the channel. It's scandalous. It's scandalous. Uh, we're off to Arbor and we're off to Emperor's Brewery. Emperor's Brewery are based in Leicestershire. And we have uh, a Walnut Whip Stout entitled <coughs> Jabba the Hutt. It's a Walnut Whip Stout brewed with our friends at Emperor's Brewery. There you go, 440 mil, clocking at 10% ABV. It's got a kind of like Star Wars-y type of appearance to the can, which I shall read to you. It says, Jabba the Nut. We know what Jabba the Nut is. Uh, a long time ago, in a brewery not too far away, we got together with our friends from Emperor's Brewery, created an Imperial Walnut Whip Stout. The stout was captured and trapped in 15 oak barrels, where it remained for a full year before being released by our intrepid packaging team, forging their usual propensity for the Noble Pint can. The team set about transferring the beer into a number of 440 mil cans, deemed more suitable for a beer of such magnitude. In other words, the beer was like gold dust. So usually Arbor are bigger cans, but being an Imperial aged in oak barrels, they see fit to put in a 440 mil. But, you know, <laughs> that's them, in it? So let's crack it open like you do. And see what this baby is all about. Let's get a whiff. We get the aged feel straight off. You get the barrel. The barrel is there. The barrel is certainly there. So let's pour it out. As you can see, it's jet black. Off white head. That is pouring like engine oil. There she's in. As you can see, that looks evil. <laughs> it looks really evil, that does. So stick that there, like you do. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Put it up to the light. <laughs> that is thick. That is dense. That is evil looking. Let's get a whiff. You get the aged feel it's there in abundance get that barrel not picking up much else you get this sense of alcohol it's there but it's only 10 percent. what's 10 percent <laughs> gotta go in cheers everybody Oh, wow. Where do we go with this one? <laughs> wow, where do we go with this? You get the strength and the barrel, first off. You get the strength and you get the barrel, straight off. Going again. It says Walnut Whip Imperial Stout. Do I get any walnut? Yeah, you do pick up the walnut. But the thing what's getting me is, is the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is super soft. It's like a mouthfeel of a whip of the soft softness inside a walnut whip. That's the type of mouthfeel you get. The strength is there. You, you do pick it up for me. Um, it's got lactose in. The lactose, you pick it up. It's doing its job. It's it's there. It's pretty potent stuff, to be honest. It's it, Funny enough, it feels stronger than 10% to me. It, it, it just does. You get that warmthness. 
you get um, a guy and again. You know what? It's taken a few mouthfeels, but it feels like this beer is a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. It's starting to come together. You're starting to get the pieces are starting to come together as you go in. Because the first mouthfeel, you just picked up the barrel and all you get is the barrel. But the more you go in, you're starting to pick up the other elements. You're getting the walnut and you're getting the whip. Now this kind of milky whipness in this beer, the mouthfeel is contributing to that light aeration feel, if you know what I mean. It, it's, it's really nice. Again, again. I'm wondering if this beer needed to be barrel aged. Now I'm saying that as though it's it's a criticism. It, it, it isn't. I just feel that they've done the barrel aging on purpose in a way to counteract the lactose and the slight sweet edge to balance it off um, that's what it feels like but it's a hell of a beer it's a hell of a beer is it worth the money I would say it is it's worth the money you can you can taste the effort in this beer you know the the barrel aging um, it, it does taste great. It does. It's it's it's. They've done a great job. Um, they really have. Um, I'm not into Star Wars really, so <laughs> I can't really comment on Emperor's Brewery's um, commercial type thing going on regarding Star Wars. But I can tell you now that is a good beer. I'm going again. You're not picking up the 10%. It's very well hidden. The barrel aging is not overrunning it. You know, it, it felt like it at the beginning, but it really isn't. The the the, the creaminess, the chocolateiness, the, the walnutness, the, the it's all coming out now in this beer. And it's an absolute pleasure. It is. It's it's just like fitting all together like a jigsaw, like I say. It's absolutely cracking. One more for the road. I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. And that is a really good beer. It is. Jabba the nut. <laughs> Jabba the nut. <laughs> what a boy. Old Jabba's come up. Trumps with this one, Jabba the Nut. Big thumbs up for me. That is, that is brilliant. It is. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bib bib.